This is Bike Check 95, the channel where we change our setting every five videos. Yay. Now, it is time to get into our um, first of two rankings of the final of this whole shish kebab bullshit uh, of the Predator series. Not the worst series of all the series we watched. Technically, we didn't watch all of them because we've seen Predator 1 a thousand times. So, again, our thoughts are in the review in this little box up here. I would say either it's up here or it's going to be above his head. That's going to be our thoughts on that, on Predator 1, if you like to hear that. Um, but it's time to get the ranking of just the Predator series out of the way. So starting at number four, Gregory, no, you go first. Number four, the worst Predator movie for me was The Predator, which was the one that was made in 2018. Um <laughs> Not that it was bad. It was bad, but it wasn't that bad. But when I was looking at it and I was trying to de de debate between the other three Predators, the other three Predators were all good. Like, I feel like this series didn't, until this one, didn't have one where I'm like, wow, that's literally dog shit because they had the stupid dog bullet brain thing. Um, this is the only one that I would rate below a five out of the series. So um, it's almost okay. So, yep, for me, that's the dog shit, bad, garbage, beep, bleep, 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 bleep. See, and here's my thing, because I agree with you. The Predator 2018 is the worst Predator film on this, like, series of all time. That's my number four. But I absolutely fucking hated it. Like, I remember what seeing it in theaters. Again, here's the clip of us entering the theater. And when you saw it in theater... I remember you saying it was good. No, I said it was good-ish to mediocre, and then I had to sit there, because you kept asking my thoughts on the car ride right after. I had to let it sink in and let me think about it for a little bit. I've had about two and a half, three, four years to think about it, and I remember it not being that good. It... Oh, man. It's aged a little bit. It's... Real quick. <laughs> Reshoot hell. Definitely. And about an hour and a half the film cut out. So And CGI. See the big thing was CGI um Predator versus animatronics and makeup predator. Yeah. It makes a huge difference in this realism. Fucking upgrade predator. But yeah, that's our number four. Uh I think from here it might I feel like our list won't be too different, but I think here it might be a little different here. Uh, number three, since you started off with your four, what's your number three? My number three is Predators, which came out in 2010. Um, I'll have to admit, I felt like it was it was better. Like I said, all these were really good. Um, Predators ranks number three for me. Um, number one, because there was a couple th takeaways in the movie that I thought were unnecessary. They were kind of a waste of character or a waste of just trying to do a convenient plot. Like, Morpheus's character didn't think logically. I didn't like that. I didn't like the cliffhanger ending. None of the other movies in the whole Predator series has a cliffhanger ending where you don't know if somebody's alive, you, you don't know if they're open to a return. Um, yeah, so it was sequel bait and nothing happened with it. Um, so, as the series overall, I, I think that Predators, since they didn't capitalize on anything after it, hurt the series okay. because it because it yeah. left it open-ended regardless if it had some good points to it and some bad points to it um i feel like it had it, it next on the list that has the most amount of flaws remaining yeah. uh honestly for me and this was actually really 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 tough for me because number three and number two were very 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 close but i like I said, I don't hate these next three films, but I'd have to put Predator 2 at number three for me. And that's only because like, mm. it's, by, it's by a hair. Okay, the film has <laughs> aged, and there's a lot of things about this movie that could have been a lot better, because I feel like Predator 2 could have been a lot better if they would have lengthened a little bit more, some more scenes in there. But Predator 2 had true 90s feeling yes, to it. Yes, yes. It did. It, felt, it followed that, but it definitely felt like a rushed project that was the one thing about predator 2 and predators was they both look, felt like rushed projects at, at the same time but so what points do you put predators over predator 2 uh, that, that, that what makes be, you think that that would have to be it's me better going into my number two which is 
Predators. Which I'm and assuming. I would say, the reason why I'm saying Predators is better than Predator 2 by like an inch is because, see, for me, I can, mainly it's because I feel like Predators had a lot of potential. And I really enjoy with what they did. Like I said in the review for it, some kinks here and there need to be ironed out pretty fucking hard. But I think it's just it was well done for what it was. It was really cool for the fact that like they're actually on the game reserve planet and everything, and it was basically new everything and whatnot. Is it so? You, would you think mainly? I, I feel like the main re thing that would take away is the setting for you is um, it it being in that planet game reserve thing compared to it being in an urban environment in the city. Uh, that's the biggest flack that I've heard from Predator 2 is the, the environment that people don't like it, especially when it went from Predator 1 to Predator 2 where they're in a jungle. Yeah. And yeah. then and they're in a city. That's not really my biggest issue with Predator 2, really. I mean, it's just... Like, not really as the movie itself, but if you're comparing it in your ranking... Well, the reasoning behind making that. I that just kind of feel like that predator, like the, the predator needs to be like in a jungle like environment for it to actually kind of work like perfectly. He was in a concrete jungle. That doesn't, no, <laughs> no. I could be wrong. I mean, I kind of feel like predators may have a co following for what it is because, like, it's not ranked as low as it actually has a higher rating on the internet than Predator 2 does. I'm going to be honest though, Mike, I've never heard of the predators before doing this series. I didn't know it happened. That's how little it it was promoted. Yeah, and that's another thing that I wish that uh, it just, it, it got too much flat. It, it had got the, too much hate, and it's like, it's better than what people think it is. It's also under-promoted. I think it had the Pandorum effect. My number two, obviously, is Predator 2. Um, like I said, this movie had, they captured the feeling of true 90s feeling. They had a lot of the bad cop anti stone cold sea boston kind of personality <laughs> um fuck you kicking doors kind of thing um fuck the man um and then the fights were really cool and we got to see more lore into the predators with some of the things they did in predator 2 so that's why i put that at number two like both predator and Pre predator 2 and predators did the same thing with like the lore the story building environments I, and whatnot like i do feel they, like they it's both close. worked in their own separate ways i do feel like it's close yes um, it's really close i feel like for me predator all three of the movies predators um predator 2 and predator 1 are all really close together mm -hmm, definitely except for the the only thing that puts the first one at number one for me Insane is Mark, Arnold Schwarzenegger, st Star Power, Randy Ventura, the, the, the amount of classic See, bullshit. That, it's an instant classic thing, movie. It came out in the late 80s, and it was it still holds up today. So The difference between the first Predator film and the other three film is all the reasons you said. The late 80s, the action, the sci-fi horror, the cast. It was perfectly paced. Yeah, it was really well paced. That was the problem with the, the the next three sequels was like the pacing for all three of them seemed a bit off. See, I feel it like was really fucking off in the Predator and Predator Four, but I feel like Predator Predator Three's pacing was bad. I don't think Predator Two pacing was bad. I like that pacing. I mean, but it it's not bad, bad, but I could tell it was slightly choppy. I've only seen Predator Two like maybe like. Are you talking about the pacing of how events transpired? Kind of, yeah, like like tiny parts here and I there. Just spaced out because they started out with that cool ass fucking scene going into it where you're fighting the bad guys. Oh and yeah, oh yeah. And you like, get in and there's the predator. And it's not completely bad pacing. There's just like some scenes here and there that could have fleshed out a little bit better. If I had to say anything about Predator Two, pacing wise, was later in the movie, the fighting took a little too long, and they I don't think they needed to do the partner dying thing. Like that was a big deal, and that was a big thing for the story. But at that time, it seemed like it kind of dragged a little bit, but that's the only thing for yeah. me. Um, but, yep, yeah, number one, the Predator. Or yep. The, the, the very first Predator. Bunch of slack-jawed around here. This stuff will make you a goddamn sexual tyrannosaurus. Just like me. Uh, I'm a goddamn sexual tyrannosaurus. It's just... Number it, one right there because of that. It sets the tone. It sets the ground, the, the, the ground level on this whole series, and mm -hmm. it just hasn't really been... 
like copied or topped in just the four movies by itself, and it's it's really hard to copy a formula like that and everything. And like I said, if Predators or Predator Three had a better director and a better like more time to plan it out with the right script and everything, I think it I think it could have had that potential, but mm-hmm. it just it wasn't there, and that's. I think it's mainly because, from what you said in the review for it, the director didn't really care about the project, and they only did it in, like, four to five weeks of, sh- of shooting. Yeah. Which is kind of sad. That's the same thing that happened with Predator 2. It's shot in four weeks. So, for our overall rating for Predator, the series, um, I'm... Here's my thing. I don't feel like this series was well done overall. Yeah. Like it's like it, it's it's literally doesn't seem like it's connected other than oh there's the predators again like it's not a connected universe like, it is connected but it's not a linear it's not a story you can watch this film as a standalone pretty much and, and I, there's like hints of the other films say oh yeah that's what happened and I feel like the series would have been a lot better if Arnold Schwarzenegger wasn't a douchebag and turned it down all three of the other movies down because it's hard to have a continuity when your original star w- literally will not do another movie. Um, the second one was because of money. The third one was and, because he was the governor, and the fourth one was probably because time time scheduling. So probably. we had an excuse every time. Yeah. So. Um, That's the difference between the Alien and the Predator series. You had the same main character. In the yeah. And so Green, you, we were actually it was like, oh, well, you guys can't afford it. I'll just take a pickup. For me, to qualify for a five or above, it would have to be a somewhat of a story that links together well. And it does not link together well. Really, out of all of these, I, these are fun little movies, but the only one that I ever really enjoy is the first one. The rest of them are kind of eh. If I didn't just say, hey, if it, Predator wasn't one of the ones that were like, we have to do Predator, uh, I wouldn't have enjoyed watching most of this. Mm-hmm. So um, I'm giving this series a four. Um, slightly below average. Which is, it's one of those ones from your childhood that you glorify, but when you actually, like, critique it, mm-hmm. it's it's awful. Yeah. It is dog shit awful. That is, like, Friday the 13th logic after the final chapter. Oh, I, I like, don't think that's together, yeah. <laughs> My thought process, of course, you're going to say it's completely different, which it is. Um, if my, here's my thing. If I were to sit down and have a marathon, and watch all four of these movies in one day, which, by God, that is eight and a half to ten hours. I think I would have quite a bit of fun watching this series and how, like, it, it it's just, it's like a roller coaster ride. Yeah, it doesn't really connect super well, not as fleshed out as Alien to a point. Alien whatever. also was bad. Um, it's just, I think a lot of the issues with this series is they are really spaced apart when it comes to sequels. And whatnot. It's 87, like 92, 2010, 2018. I base off the series by like how much I enjoy it and just as a as a as a whole. And I had a lot of fun with this series. I enjoyed it until we got to the last one. I fucking hated the last one. And I wish and I never want to see it again. So if the last one wasn't there. I say this series would get for enjoyable for for being enjoyable. Enjoyability. Enjoyability, yes. I say it would have gotten an eight, but with that last film on there, it knocks it down to about I'd say a seven. A seven. Right? Not, I can't I can't go six and a half because those first three films for me are solid enough to hold its own hold its own ground. But that fourth one for me really really hurts the series and it puts a like a a bad a bad mark on it like it destroys it like for me if i were to actually sit here and watch the series again i would just watch the first three and pretend the fourth one doesn't exist because it it it, it, it did nothing it did nothing for the series But that is our ranking of the Predator series. Any final thoughts you'd like to add before we move on to the next chapter of our videos that we're recording in one night? Oh, yes. 
Uh, don't forget to keep an eye out for our overall series review of uh, Alien and Predator so we can finally find out which one's the best one. This is where it's going to get really interesting. But until then, this is Mike Chuck 95 along with my cohort. Krieger Margin. Sandra. And we are, he just cut his head off. And we're signing out.